I love helping people because I was never helped. I love being compassionate to people because I was looking for compassion. And it is not that I speak about it not because that I uh, have anything against women. <laughs> that I mean, no. if I'm speaking about no, this, no. it doesn't mean right. Right. Or and also, this is not a competition of who goes through more. And now, if I bring Vitaligo in this, that. it taught me so much about people like i was mentioning earlier it taught me about psychology without studying psychology yeah. it taught me about how to discipline my mind shivaji is a is a is a student of life hello everyone welcome to life e talks my name is ravya sada and today we are going to talk about vitiligo yes vitiligo is a very common condition it leaves behind white patches on your skin as per statistics over a million people in india get vitiligo every year yes this is a very common situation but it is unacceptable by people because uh, people who have vitiligo are judged by other people by normal people for the way they look in a sympathetic way and that is why they are insecure and uh, it's high time we talk about this subject we talk about vitiligo we change our mindset and accept vitiligo as a common condition and today on our show we have shivaji choudhary founder of vitiligo india and a vitiligo influencer who is here to motivate us so please welcome shivaji choudhary Hey Shivaji hi welcome to Life E Talk so how are you how are you doing I'm pretty good thank you and how about you I'm absolutely fine so Shivaji we are uh, going to talk about vitiligo today and uh, right. you know there is there is a lot of myth around vitiligo so uh, first and foremost question i would like to ask is what is vitiligo itna kuch logon ke dimag mein bhara hua hai na ki vitiligo ye hai babaon ke paas leke jate hain but i would like to know from you the right person what is vitiligo um i can answer this question in two different ways actually uh, one is obviously i'm not a doctor so the technical yeah. terms and you know the, the things behind it uh, is something uh, i'm not the right person but i can tell you that is it's an autoimmune uh, disorder and um, it can happen to anyone anytime right, right. and to uh, any religion uh, any origin or whatever it is it is a, it, it doesn't have any uh, any uh, uh preferences to be honest uh and uh, you know so with vitiligo it's your uh, skin color that changes or let's say it doesn't uh, uh you know the pigmentation doesn't happen so that okay. can happen due to various reasons mm. and then the whole concept of melanin and you know all of that happens into this okay. so in short i would just say that vitiligo is nothing just your your skin color is is different like it, it's white basically right right so right so it's not even like uh, the the um, the body's um, uh, you know producing white color on you which is there's no mm. color on it it's it's mm. one of those kind of situations okay so right so that's how the whole the natural process is and uh, i i hope we all learn all of this uh, at our ground uh, grassroots level because if we understand such basic things then as an adult or a growing up the human conditioning what we have gone through i mean i, I believe that uh, we would be so much uh, calmer and relaxed and stress free from all the conditioning which we have gone through for right. no reason right but uh, how did you react when you first came to know about uh, you know these patches how was your reaction how old were you so it's it's funny uh, i actually used to have like uh, uh, small patches but those were not vitiligo uh, but mm-hmm. it was like, like uh, maybe it was something related to calcium or something so i used to uh, i had that when i was a little kid but then growing up i was i i mean growing up i was still a kid but 9 uh, years old and mm-hmm. suddenly i see i would say thicker darker or let's say more um, evident white patches on me and so i kind of did not uh, react to it initially because i thought this is probably one of the same things which i had and um, but this time so over a period of time like maybe uh, a week 10 days or a month later my mom's like what happened to you i'm like i don't know i thought this is one of those things and then 
and that's where it all started like you know um, uh, you go to the doctor then they like you know this is called leucoderma this is called vitiligo and uh, you know th- this is this and then uh, tons of medicine and suddenly the entire life just flipped like you know i i'm sleeping one day and uh, you see that that's the whole point uh, mm. about why i do uh, so much awareness and like you know like i had it for like at least 10 15 days but i didn't bother so i was still happy i was the happy kid the moment i am like a certified vitiligo और मेरे पे एक थप्पा लग गया है कि भाई तू तुझे ये है और वट एवर इट इज राइट एंड सो नाउ द विजिट्स टू द डॉक्टर एंड दिस इन दैट वो लाइफ बिकेम हेल्प फ्रॉम देयर ऑन लाइक इट जस्ट वेंट ऑन टू अ वेरी वेरी डीप लेवल मेंटली इन मी एंड दैट इट ब्रोक माय सोल आई वुड से दैट एंड द फनी पार्ट इज दैट आई डोंट इवन नो और आई डेंट इवन नो द मीनिंग ऑफ वट सोल इज एंड यू नो वट डिप्रेशन इज और एनी थिंग बट इवन यू ग्रो लाइक या मैन आई मीन आई वो दैट दी मोस्ट रॉक बॉटम ऑफ 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 अ लॉर्ड ऑफ थिंग्स लाइक यू नो योर सेल्फ इमेज योर सेल्फ रेस्पेक्ट योर ओन आइडेंटिटी दी आउटकास्ट दी ओनली वन Yeah, the only one. Um, the only so that's my hashtag. I use that a lot. Uh, the only one. Yeah, the only one. Yeah. So, because uh, I mean, obviously, it's as much as it's out there in general public. Hmm. You don't come across many who have it, right? So suddenly, you're the only one who has it, and then you can't relate to others, and the others can't relate to you. I mean, I can relate to others because I I'm pretty normal as well, but they can't relate to me. Yeah. um and uh, and sometimes what happens is that you know you uh, you try to share things and you know uh, as i do a lot of these awareness campaigns etc so it's it's it, it's it really interesting that uh, sometimes it is seen in such bad light which i grew up on um purane janmo ke paap hain oh god <laughs> right and this is all me like 9 10 years old situation so i'm like what <laughs> ये होता क्या है लाइक like, मैंने कौन सी चीटिंग करी थी एक रेस में स्कूल की रेस में कि उसका पाप मेरे को अभी मिल रहा आई मीन इज नॉन सेंस इन द होल हेड एंड एंड योर सराउंडिंग सो व्हाट हैपेंस इज दैट नाउ यू इन वन ऑफ द अदर इंटरव्यूज आल्सो आई मेंशन दैट इट्स लाइक यू आर लिविंग अ लाइफ एंड देर इज अ डोर वे ओके एंड देन यू ओपन दिस डोर and your hell starts so i entered this hell of vitiligo correct so now yeah. i visualize this i'm living like in this universe and suddenly there's this like there's a door and then you open it and you're stepped in it yeah. and you see unlimited infinite stress uh doubting yourself and like everything is negative you are the victim you are the problem you are this you are that i mean it was just on like yo like- and you were just 9 years old at that time i was 9 that's why that's when it, i had it right so i mean like since then i'm like i was bullied i was called out for my uh, my um appearance and what not i mean it, it goes endless it goes endless of what i went through in terms of you know yeah. Yeah. um being the outcast and a 9 uh, year yeah. old getting bombarded yeah. with these questions or Uh, जो आपने एक स्टेटमेंट कहा पुराने जन्मों के पाप कर्मा <laughs> से रिले, रिलेट किया जाता है या 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 अ नाइन ईयर ओल्ड वोंट अंडरस्टैंड ऑल ऑफ दिस राइट सो दैट्स व्हाट आई एम सेइंग सो देन आई एम विजुअलाइजिंग माय सेल्फ इन माय प्रीवियस जन्म में क्या था क्या नहीं था एंड आई आई मीन सो द थैंक्स टू दोस पीपल फॉर कीपिंग मी क्रिएटिव दैट वे दैट आई कुड थिंक अबाउट इट आई मीन आई एम जस्ट टेकिंग इट इन अ पॉजिटिव वे नाउ but back then boss it was like you were just questioning yourself for everything like mm. um i mean and there's so many situations it's just not my personal experience like there's so many people who message me and dm me about stuff and you know the way they talk about it is like uh, the way they've been treated uh, was, by people by their I own was family about members to ask you this question that you know do you get dms because you are um, an influencer you motivate people through your platform but there are many people who have vitiligo and un courage nahi hai you know nahi hai kyunki because they are always judged in a sympathetic way yeah so, so that's another thing yeah. that's a big big thing um i hate sympathy 
right i hate uh, uh when i say hate i mean to say like i don't want your uh you know i i would say i don't want your compassion towards me because i have something mm-hmm. just be compassionate human being right no, so no. right normal thing like because i'm a victim or because i went through all of this so the so the whole questioning is that how did we end up that i had to suffer more yeah for you know or, and that too suffering uh, based on something i can't control or i didn't even do like maine koi chori nahi kari hai that i'm paying a price of that like you know if you have like i haven't committed a crime yeah it's not my wrong doing that i'm and i'm still facing something which probably people like you know uh, the society has called them bad go through right. i mean i'm the one who, who went through it i'm like for what for being a boy for being a child for being a whatever uh, you know uh, to be a sportsman to be uh, a, a life uh, you know uh, somebody who likes to live so what is this right so so this happens a lot and this is not just with with like i mean there are so many people who are like bro i don't need sympathy mm. because they look people look at you in like oh or like in a disgusted way to pura chapter hi aap कि दिमाग में आपको वो देख रहा है कि यार आप आपको कोई प्रॉब्लम है तो वो पूरी एनर्जी उस रूम की और उस सिचुएशन की बिकम्स लाइक वन इज तो इट्स लाइक किसी को प्रॉब्लम है तो समाओ दैट काइंड ऑफ मींस वन इज बिनीथ द अदर या समाओ एक सुपीरियर हो गया करें या भी एक सुपीरियर हो गया वो कि भाई मैं नॉर्मल हूं तू नहीं है और व्हाटएवर इट इज राइट सो सो देन जस्ट थिंक अबाउट दैट पर्सन हु इज थिंकिंग दैट दे आर बिनीथ या द अदर i like i've said this somewhere else also like you know there were many times I've, like i'm entering a room uh when i'm in school or like uh, going to a social gathering or this and that i know for a fact that i'm going to be looked upon in a very different way yeah and this is exactly what a lot of people avoid people who have vitiligo or any kind of uh, situation they have like you know i don't even call this a problem i mean i call these these are situations in life they are looked upon imagine jab aap right so aap ja rahe ho to aapko pata hai so it's like i i love swimming i love being like without clothes and like minimal clothes or whatever but you going to the beach or going to the swimming pool or whatever i know that you will look at me in a different way mm. right so it's it's really funny that being being a being a swimmer like obviously so when i was a kid uh, uh just to i mean i always say this that the kids um uh, can be really brutal <laughs> because yes. kids yes. kids don't have the understanding of what is right and wrong for the longest time yes right so the bullying and and at the same time the one who's receiving it can also go from this side to that side in less than a second so and hence as adults we talk about the the healing uh, that needs to take place about a, i mean a child has to uh, uh, who probably went through a lot of stuff so there's a lot of childhood trauma that is carried forward in your future mm-hmm. in your adulthood right so that's why it, it, it's it's very tricky that's why i talk a lot about parenthood and um, correct and all of that also so my point being that um I was in a pool. I was in a swimming pool, and all my friends came out of the swimming pool. Oh, okay. And uh, they did that to yeah, like yo, know, oh, he has bit Lego. We will also have it, so it will get, it will spread on me, oh. right? So I mean, I still remember these things uh, because it teaches me so much about people. Hmm. It teaches me about people. I know these things because. you made me feel that way right so i mean again i i would again say this i mean as much as these children or i mean my friends or this and that i don't blame them to be honest because let's say let's say the problem is that probably if they were teasing me on something i was teasing them on something else mm-hmm. right so so the whole thing is that but with but here my, my only um um Uh, a situation which i had was that i had the extra disadvantage was the vitiligo chapter <laughs> like if i'm if i'm losing a race if i'm coming third or i lost a game that is something else that's based on my actions here i have nothing to do with it right so people go through 
in india especially people go through with dark skin somebody who's like you know the people make fun of so many different things and we know how it is yeah. so so that's there it is so you know it, it taught me i had learned so much out of vitiligo because it taught me about society at a, at a at a very deep level about coming from purane janmo ke paap se leke you probably are probably one of the richest people but you still might not get your son or daughter married to somebody who has vitiligo so yes. it is so, so the, the undertone is always pretty much the same of course i'm not saying everyone is like that mm. right everyone is not like that but majority would be have you come across like good people Of course, I mean, how do you define a good person? Good person is someone who's willing to accept you, or uh, uh, you see what I just said, willing to accept, <laughs> right? I mean, as if I was something like I'm coming from a prison, I'm coming from a jail, and like you know, or coming from something, mm. and like oh, willing to accept. You see how I said it? Perfection is so much important for people. as you said that you know child you know children can be really brutal and uh, i think uh, when i did the first podcast interview with you i had told you this if you remember that my daughter goes through the same bullying thing yeah, so it's not it's yeah. not it's not it's not perfection to be honest it is these are just trends these are just trends that people follow mm. these are like biases we all go through that is it and there are so many studies on but these kind of biases like it like when you're a kid you want to be part of the group you don't want to stand alone you like oh he's my friend he'll be mera dost and then we like have a gang and this and that right and so what are these so so people like to stay together so so, so it's like it becomes a trend okay so if one person is picking on one so then let's pick on him let's so like yeah yeah so it's like one of those situations so i i believe that, that can definitely change but then it has to start at a grassroots level i mean starting from your own parents absolutely uh, imagine right, I, i mean yeah. this incident happened with you in your childhood but it is still happening right oh, it Everybody is i mean without a doubt ye nahi hoga bhi nahi hoga hi nahi aise nahi hoga ye see you're talking about right? we're talking here about vitiligo but there are many other situations also where where children get bullied i know i know i know i know, I know. Th- th- that is what i'm saying just being short can be bullied somebody who's too thin can be bullied so the whole, that is why the, the whole chapter of bullying to me uh personally speaking is is it has is not related to problems yeah. it is about the conditioning of things correct it's about the conditioning of things it's basically uh, i'll give you a very lame example of this is like fridge mein saman daloge to aap expect karte ho thanda hoga hmm so that hmm. is that kind of conditioning i'm talking about so it basically if you're putting things somewhere in, in in one kind of an environment it will the outcome is going to be like that hmm. so it uh, so got my point so so that is why i'm saying so the environment is what is the most important and as an adult i i choose to build supportive and meaningful uh, environment around me at least right right at least mm-hmm. yeah so But- and this is also because what i went through and i realized that i mean to be in a better situation i need to create my own environment correct but shivaji when you were talking about um, you know your childhood how did your family react mummy wagera sab pata chal i mean i o- right 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 so kya hua tha what happened khub khub doctors ke paas gaya khub my mom like i love my mom um, she's my greatest friend uh, yeah. she uh, when i had soft to her being a widow she took me like to all the possible doctors of india right so i've been to babas i've been to hakims i've been to christian divine centers i've gone to homeopathies i've gone to ayurveda i've done allopathies and and lot of some desi stuff which i don't even know the names of something or the other was going on mm. for the good for for me to get better and obviously i mean uh, my mother uh, you know uh, being a warrior herself she's like you know uh, out there to help me and i was it was really um, a, a a a fight with her all the time because i love playing and then she like no beta we have to go to the doctor i'm like mama sunday ka to time mila i don't want to play with my friend i love sports mm-hmm. so 
I was like, you know, I used to be very angry at her. I'm like, mummy, I'm going to go now. And like, you know, all of that stuff happened. But then hats off to her. Like I said, I mean, all the, her efforts. Um, I really appreciate it. Mm. But yeah, you go through doctors all the time, and 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 behind all of this mm. is something called as hope. Yeah. Hope is the is the number one thing that I mean. Like it kills you from the inside, not even from the outside. Correct. So just imagine if you're living alone in this entire world, mm. nobody is looking at you anymore. Mm. So you don't even feel bad about it. So it is because of these eyes of other people that kills you from the inside. Like yo, I'm getting looked upon like this, like that, and and um, hope to get better. Hope to get. Yeah, like I mean, this is not just for vitiligo. Like I said, I mean, just just think about like these eyes, right? These are the eyes which want perfection, this and that. But why do they want perfection? Because they are brainwashed and they are conditioned to that see perfect way. things. The magazines, the, the so the many ads, television, ads. right? Everything, right? So, so this like will this will keep us. going on, right? Yeah. This will keep on going on, and and. I mean, yeah. So I do call this a lot of BS, uh, and you know, so um, yeah. Sorry for my language. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, was it a very tough growing up? Oh yes, yes, yes. It was really tough growing up. Uh, I used to cry. I used to cry a lot because um, every day was a battle. You know, like it's like. You you know that you wake up and you are going to be mentally beaten up. You will be mentally beaten up. I mean that's what I used to feel because like the moment I step out of the house, I knew mm. it's going to be and like yeah. So uh, I mean yeah, like I remember. Uh, I mean maybe it was just too dramatic about it, but then yeah, I yeah, I was suicidal at times and like. What if I jump off uh, before a train uh, while I'm standing at the platform? Sometimes I took a knife, and I'm like, I want to do that. Like, but I don't think I had enough strength to do it, to be honest. But uh, and uh, it's, this is not about strength and being weak. This is about how uh, someone who's so little was and having such amazing parents. And so supportive, and you know all of that, and my grandparents and everyone. And still, I w- I was feeling that, and it has it had nothing to do with my actions. Correct. Did you feel lonely at times, and uh, oh. because nobody understood? I just mentioned the only one. <laughs> it just defines it when I say the the, the only one. It defines it, and uh, of course, hell yes, lonely man, because. uh like i said you're the only one in the class so you can't really share it. like they will not understand what i'm saying because and you know sometimes you like it's like one of those moments abhi chill karna like ha tune chill karne ko bola main chill kar lunga <laughs> it doesn't work like that yeah right so it's like you don't know where i'm coming from what what's going on and all of that right and it's for everyone everyone is going through that is why i talk a lot about being compassionate about in general like you know mm-hmm. so people should be like but for that one needs to realize what needs what's more important true, so true. growing up uh, being lonely for sure yes um uh but yeah i was pretty blessed that i had a very tight schedule my entire school life so that you know as much as i could feel at times where i want to share obviously it was my mother mm-hmm. uh, i always shared things with her Yeah. yeah at the same time like you know when i was taking my medicines and you know things were happening so i also healed a lot like i was a lot more i had more uh, white patches and then some day it'll be like one brown patch will come and i will like get excited like mama ye dekho and you know so a chhota sa color on my skin a brown color on my skin was the probably the highlight of the month of, of or you know things like that yeah yeah which would you know excite the family or yeah so th- th- that's what i'm saying so everything became about vitiligo sadly you know everything. like 
लाइक यू यू गो टू मीट योर रिलेटिव्स यू गो हियर यू देयर कैसी चल रही है दवाई कैसा क्या प्रोग्रेस है सो आई मीन दे ऑल केयर राइट बट इन द एंड द कन्वर्सेशंस आर जस्ट अबाउट दैट सो ऑल अबाउट दैट अब क्या करें आई मीन यू नो बिकॉज़ दे लव यू सो मच दे 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 केयर अबाउट यू राइट सो आई कांट इवन ब्लेम दैट Correct, correct. Right, but, there's but nothing when, to blame. But yeah. when you're mm-hmm. talking about a uh, family and uh, relatives, you know, some time back I had met a girl and uh, she had vitiligo. So when she was talking, ah, जब आपने ये suicide की बात करी, तो मुझे एकदम से click हुआ ये. So when she was talking, she said, "Ravi, many a times what happens is there are like suicidal thoughts, and uh, she tried to attempt." Uh, suicide, but she didn't. She didn't do it. And then uh, she's like, you know, बहुत बार ऐसा होता है कि पूरा पूरा दिन I'm standing in front of the mirror and watching myself and looking at myself. And कई uh, बार ऐसा होता है, you know, uh, uh, you just don't want to talk to anyone because people, you just don't want to go out. You don't want to yeah. even talk to your relatives. Uh, yeah. Family में भी इतना pressure होता है. कि घर में पेरेंट्स भी इसी बारे में बात करते हैं सो नो नो शी इज लाइक एवरीथिंग इज अबाउट विटिलिगो का माहौल ही ऐसा बन जाता है दैट ओनली सराउंडेड एंड द ओनली टॉपिक इज विटिलिगो देर इज नो नॉर्मल कॉन्वर्जेशन या दैट इज ट्रू दैट इज ट्रू सो दैट इज व्हाट आई एम सेइंग दैट यू नो मेनी टाइम्स लाइक आई सेड यू विजिट friends and uh, relatives and whatever so all of this keeps happening but at the same time um how do you change an environment like that right so so w- w- how do you make the difference here so you make the difference by either uh keep thinking about it or you get out of that funk <laughs> because you have to like you know like i do a lot of these sessions and i speak to a lot of people about different things and the the best thing is that you know you have to realize it sooner than your parents and your relatives that these conversations needs to stop needs yes right so stop talking exactly. about exactly and and a very interesting point you mentioned about like uh, the other person who has with lipo and she looks at herself in the mirror so i have this thing i say my my actual best friend is the mirror because it <laughs> it never lies uh which is the absolute truth and when you're looking at yourself there's a lot of self self talk right so it can go from why me mm. you know why did it happen to me cuz i used to look at myself all the time as well cuz i mean how can you not because it was all about that it wasn't about me anymore it was about what i have on my body on my skin correct so you you you're actually going through all of that so i think it takes a lot of courage a lot of courage to must... stand in front of the camera in front of um, the mirror in front of the people uh when you have when you know that everyone is going to see you in a very different light yes because imagine um, when you know if you are in a lift also yeah <laughs> good point <laughs> you know? good point right there yeah so <laughs> people are looking up to you right agar ek chhota bachcha bhi hai wo bhi aapki taraf dekhega hi देखते हैं बच्चों के साथ तो लाइक बच्चे देन दे वांट टू टच इट ये व्हाट इज दिस डिफरेंट थिंग एंड देयर देयर क्यूरियस एंड देयर इनक्विजिटिव आई लव इट राइट सो आई विल स्पीक अबाउट द अदर साइड टू दिस इन जस्ट अ सेकंड बिकॉज़ आई वांटेड टू शेयर बिकॉज़ यू मेंशनड अबाउट किड्स सो देयर वाज रियली इंटरेस्टिंग लाइक हाउ द पास्ट वाज लाइक इन टर्म्स ऑफ माय पास्ट ऑफ एक्सपीरियंसेस एंड स्टफ लाइक दैट एंड द चाइल्ड एंड द पेरेंटहुड situation i will explain it to you how toxic it is so i am in paris right now and uh i was at a train station mm. and i'm walking and i'm coming out of my train and then i'm, I'm going outside yeah. and i see this i mean it's it's packed so everyone is on one line on this side the other side is going on that side and and uh, this indian mother and she goes like um beta khalo khalo nahi mamma bachcha is like main nahi mamma mujhe nahi khana and then she goes like agar tum nahi khaoge to tum iske jaise dikhne lag jaoge oh 
so i was really furious at it um for the first for, for, for firstly because of what she's teaching her children yeah and the man mein bhusa bhar hai kya sorry it's a mother it's a mother it's a mother theek hai so that is exactly what i say about parents and you know the society and all of that yeah. but i don't talk too much about it because we uh, like ki hamare parents hamare bhagwan hote hain i understand ab wo usko controversy aur wo faltu ki out of context wale side se nahi keh raha ab i mean nahi uh, that is why i don't speak about it because people don't understand ki bhai tumhare papa ne bhi kabhi kachra pheka tha bahar road pe to tum bhi fek rahe ho ठीक है कि रेड लाइट तोड़ी थी तो तुम भी तोड़ रहे हो एंड यू नो कि सब तोड़ते हैं एंड देन द होल सोसाइटी एंड देन यू से कि भाई सोसाइटी बेकार है भाई तुम्हारे घर से स्टार्ट होती है चीज राइट सो इन द सेम वे इफ योर मदर इज टीचिंग यू दैट फॉर जस्ट इमेजिन उसको अभी तक क्या क्या सिखा दिया होगा मुझे सुनाई देता है so she thought that i don't know hindi i'm not from india i mean because we are here in paris so usko nahi laga that she didn't realize that i was indian or whatever and then she said this in hindi and i'm like uh mujhe sunai deta hai hmm and i really wanted to you know go up to her and like is this what you're teaching your child but i didn't want to do it because she had two kids Yeah. looking up to her you are giving this one example you know aapne thoda time bataya pehle bataya that uh jab aap pool mein the this incident happened with you uh ye ho gayi bachchon ki baat ye ho gayi parents ki baat uh when we talk about society you were you were in a pool i think in school or uh somewhere right yeah, yeah. so teachers how would teachers react to it See back then uh, it was very different right like teachers also come from different walks of life right yeah. so it's not that everyone is on the same level i of course encountered teachers who uh, uh, made fun of it um and um, I, this is way back in 2000 like you know the <laughs> 99 and 2000 i mean life was really if we compare it from yeah. today it was really raw yeah. right so so i, I mean of course i went through it through yeah. teachers as well so and again going back to the same part that i am not blaming a particular person or anything it is the environment we we live in and then we are so suppressed by the the standards or the limitations we we are kept under uh, um, in in the environment and then we become frustrated yeah. correct right But, yeah. but have you made any uh, changes in your lifestyle um you know because of uh, because of the patches kuch changes karne pade aapko apni lifestyle mein lifestyle mein to i would say uh, uh, mentally i changed myself hmm uh it was like a whole transformation that that took place mm-hmm. and if i look back at it um this this transformation was actually once i was probably 16 17 years old when i'm like a little more mature and had a better understanding of things i mean another example is that you know like i i remember i was in an, on an exchange program in england uh, and, uh, our school has this exchange cultural programs so i was there for a couple of months so i never felt anything there like when i was there like i was just a normal guy mm. i was just a guy who i was playing cricket over there so i, I was just a guy who plays cricket over there and you know mm. the sports guy mm. and who's on who's on exchange that is those were my labels over there yeah and it felt very relaxed <laughs> yeah. like it felt really relaxed and like and i think that kind of changed me at a very different level once i got back yeah. i'm like like dude i do not um i do not want to engage with everyone right you can't disturb your mental peace 
Yeah. So, so I can't engage with everyone. I am going to accept from now on that there is, there are going to be people in this world, in this, in my environment that are going to keep barking and let them bark. So I accepted it. So if somebody teases me, calls me something, I laugh at it. Like to be honest, like, like bro, it is telling me more about you, not me. <laughs> Correct. Right. So I'm like, this is how you see the world. This is how you see things. So, so I laugh at it. So that is why I say that Vitalik was such a blessing for me to, to learn about human beings, about society, about about uh, how our brain works and how we are conditioned. No, but what do you do when you know you are disturbed? I don't think I'm more I'm uh, I'm disturbed with Vitalego anymore. I I don't I'm not no. It's 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 like I mean what what does it come down to? It comes down to one of the things as an adult or as a, as as somebody who, who's growing up as well. Um, I think it's the biggest problem with Vitalego is the fear of rejection. The fear of rejection is like the most uh Uh, challenging part the mm-hmm. fear of rejection how to deal with that because like i said if i start telling you about my dms and like the the back stories about it this is all goes back to relationships friends yeah and right and you know how it is in india about shaadi and what not kon kon se gun milte hain aur kya milta hai and horoscope <laughs> and rashi and and parents kya karte hain aur wagaira wagaira i mean इंसान के के अलावा सारी बातें में इंटरेस्ट है तो सो सो या लाइक आई आई कैन पुट मेनी मेनी मोर्स मेनीज बट इट इज इट ऑल गोज बैक टू दैट माय बॉयफ्रेंड हैज इट बट माय मदर इज नॉट अलाउिंग अस टू गेट मैरिड और माय माय गर्लफ्रेंड हैज इट sometimes i will get messages like um uh, because uh, my in in the recent times my boyfriend developed with lego and he really disturbed about it that we might break up and i have to break up with him and this and that so it is all goes back to sometimes i i i'll get these messages and these are really really frustrated people uh, in in a in it's not their fault right you know it's like that there are many times like you go for an interview for a job interview when you're rejected regardless of whether you got rejected based on your skills or not having those skills but you still might end up thinking that because it was of little ego correct uh shivaji you were talking about you know that you get a lot of dms from people um uh, people who have little ego you know they are going undergoing you know mental stress kafi kuch hota hai bahut sare dms aate hain aapko but uh, then how do you you know boost their confidence I I try to help them with I start with basics like uh firstly I make them understand that you have to accept things acceptance is is a very important part here because if you don't accept that means you're fighting it yeah so you so so basically you're not willing to accept what you have on your body mm-hmm. right so that is number one second thing what you're not accepting is that it is human nature yeah that if there is something different they see people stare at it it's really simple you see somebody who's some 7 feet person you will look at that person <laughs> yeah if you see uh, if if you see uh, i mean anything like if you see a joker for that matter somebody who was dressed up as a clown you're going to look at him mm. so it it's basics that you will be looked upon mm. you i mean people are going to look at you now the question is that how you deal with it yeah so it's just that you have a new task that how you deal with it so you figure it out how you want to deal with it so mm. if you want to say i don't want people to look at me then don't go out but they said i i will go out i'm like so that's not how it works <laughs> you can't have both sides right and then also at the same time i make them realize a lot more things and again that has a lot to do with the basics is that there are a lot of people in this world don't even have eyes to recognize whether somebody has vitiligo or not hmm 
at least you have something you have your eyes to differentiate colors yeah right so it 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 it's a again it totally depends on how you see things so i am blessed that what if i didn't have eyes yo my <laughs> life would have been so different correct right so people who are uh, you know going through some different situation like i don't like the whole idea of like handicap and this and these kind of words i like i just like to call it it's all situations you're in a situation you're right in a you're in a situation i mean your situation could be one day you're feeling good some day one day you're not feeling good you know that's mm-hmm. also a situation you 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 have a car and you have a flat tire that's a situation that's yeah. it but but uh, you know when when we are talking about the situation and all this stuff so uh aisa kuch hai that men uh, zyada suffer nahi karte hain aur women zyada suffer karti hai because i think dono jagah same hi hota hai dono side same hi hota hai because wo to hai hi marriage uh, uh, proposals aate hain and they are rejected aur rejection is basis pe hoti hai um, kai bar jaise agar uh, you know when you said That love marriage भी है तो पेरेंट्स के साइड से रिजेक्शन हो जाता है क्योंकि द मेन रीजन इज कि शादी होने के बाद अगर बच्चे को भी हो गया तो राइट राइट या तो करेक्ट सो आई मीन इज इज दिस द सेम प्रेशर ऑन बोथ द जेंडर्स और इज इट डिफरेंट सही आई स्पीक अलॉट अबाउट मेन्स मेंटल हेल्थ ऑल्सो यस ओके एंड and it is not that i speak about it not because that i uh, have anything against women in <laughs> that i mean yeah. if i am speaking about no, this no. it doesn't mean right right or and also this is not a competition of who goes through more uh, which sadly uh, if you see internet warriors <laughs> netizens i mean they like to just make battles out of things correct and uh, uh, man versus woman and this and that uh what we need to understand in this when you said that you know um, do men suffer more or women suffer more and with vitiligo because of marriage and all of that i see this entire thing in a very different light many people like you know uh, like hey i had a boyfriend and suddenly i developed these vitiligo patches and now he doesn't like me anymore and he doesn't want to and vice versa the girl has, uh, the the girl uh, uh, i mean the boy has vitiligo and the girl like you know this happens, says no. that happened yeah it, yeah the girl says no right and what if they are just manipulating and what if their parents she did or she or he never went to their parents they just didn't want to be with that person so i mean you know it goes on to very different levels of of okay. things right so so what we hear and what we know is can be very very different so when i say that i tell people that i'm glad this is happening to you i'm glad that you are rejected mm-hmm. by that person mm-hmm. because that means how shallow they are mm-hmm. and it's like again i'm glad it's happening now that you're not married what happens once you're married yeah right so now that you want to bring in the other side to it so i always again i strongly speak about in my videos or my whatever dms or whatever post i do is about developing individual skills mm. i talk about personal growth i'm like why can't you become that person who is so skillful or so talented for some in something or the other that your white patches would never ever bother anyone Hmm. Right. Yeah. So, what? How is it that you think that the society and the world is going to support you for you, while they were never supported for who they were? Also, they also had to fight. Let's say we are fighting with Lego. Somebody else is fighting something else. Correct. Right. So, so, so then again, again, <laughs> we human beings love convenience. We love to like you know oh because of this. Because, it can happen it can happen and and uh, again you have to accept it so i usually tell about in relationships i always tell people be so skillful hmm that they want to be with you i mean i don't have to like because of uh, this is not my this is actually for everyone like you know like there is a reason why somebody likes right 
talks yeah. or or loves you or whatever it is like people talk about what do you do people talk about what are your interests how you look uh, where you come from it could be it, it, the world is out there and, and it's so unpredictable <laughs> on what people like and what they don't right yeah. so that's actually one of my advices to people that right. i'm i'm glad it's happening to you but, now but the 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 conditioning is such right uh, bachpan se itna bully kiya jata hai ya fir you know jo aap bol rahe ho na you become that way you see you are brave you i i know what you're saying so it's not that easy it's not easy that is what i'm trying yeah i know that i know that but then tell me what is easy yeah. tell me what is easy walking takes, is easy it takes walking is easy and breathing is easy i'm i'm telling you breathing is easy and walking is easy which we take it for granted yeah that is a problem many times i tell people like bro just go out there in a in a garden and sit and breathe and by when i say this it's it might sound the most simple thing but it has a lot of effect people don't understand people want to like well it, it, like because you're so conditioned for the that rat race of a good partner and this and that i believe and i i have personally experienced again it it can be a very personal thing my relationships uh, have been amazing and i believe that relationships so another big challenge in with vitilego is that because they have the fear of rejection to have a partner in life i mean it's a main a major way because you anyway feel so lonely right mm mm-hmm. i believe that relationships have such healing powers that it can change you completely right and obviously everyone is not blessed to have a partner like that or you're not blessed to realize that or smart enough to realize it so i i mean i have my ways of doing stuff and at no point i'm going to be in a relationship where i feel um, there's a lot of toxicity a lot of i mean the thing is that i w- i won't even end up meeting such people because i filter people out at a very big scale to be honest like mm-hmm. i do not i do not give my energy to everyone yeah. it is not for everyone life is actually to me uh life is about learning about yourself mm. it's a journey it's never a platform it's never um and and also whatever you're going through never defines you mm. so it's like actually infinite and now if i bring vitilego in this that it taught me so much about people like i was mentioning earlier it taught me about psychology without studying psychology yeah. it taught me about how to discipline my mind while it was everywhere and it still is it's not that easy to you know and it it it, it teaches you mental toughness mm. it teaches you patience yeah it teaches you uh, how to be compassionate mm it teaches you how to love how to love yourself right it teaches yeah. you uh, uh how to build strong communities I mean these are my greatest learnings about uh, I mean through Vitilego I mean I'm just blessed to have it as much as I hated it from for the longest time ever but it was it, it's it's something that I I would say that you know it it comes back to it it started in a very negative zone for me and then I had to change like I said you asked me like what changed or how did i change my lifestyle and that yeah. it's a, it's it's like a huge transformation i am talking about and there are many celebrities also uh who has you know who have faced this issue uh like michael jackson you know and yeah. michael jackson was the one who did not speak about it for a long period of time you know uh, i think um, in oprah winfrey show he um, that that was the time when it was disclosed there is uh, winnie harlow india mein there is amita bachchan but people don't talk about it don't you think uh, these celebrities should come forward help support or talk about this subject because kahin na kahin um hum influence to hote hain celebrities se 
and if this yeah. these celebrities talk about the condition which will help individuals to fight against this uh, you know uh, this stigma he have a very different take about celebrities and uh, the whole fan following nonsense that goes on blind but it's there <laughs> blind fl- it's fan there. following yeah of course it it's there right but uh, i mean see i i can as much as one expects them to do it but it's their personal choice whether they want to do it or not right so they are not liked michael jackson is not liked because he has little ego he, he was liked because of his dancing and his singing i mean he's and being an artist right so yes it's like it's it's one of those thoughts like um um you want to talk about amitabh bachchan i mean i don't know what he wants to do and what he doesn't want to do i mean it's up to him he's a, he's famous for his acting he's famous for his uh, voice and his appearance and all of that is persona mm-hmm. uh, same with vinny harlow the, but with vinny vinny harlow it was a different game altogether because she mentioned all of that her entire story started to yeah. build around i mean i'm i'm sure uh, uh if she didn't have vitiligo uh, uh her story would have been different right you know she still would would have wanted to be a model but mm. now she's carrying it so it's 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 a it's a game of of how you want to live and it's totally up to you like you know i i really don't expect anything from celebrities to be honest um uh because uh to me celebrities is something that the common people have given more attention to one particular person right so and so i don't i'm not really big on that to be honest so i mean people like to do community work people like to do other things do awareness campaign it's good i would love to i mean i would love to have uh, these celebrities to speak about it but if they don't it doesn't mean that i'm going to like you know like cry about it <laughs> right you know they, they should do what they want to do and then if they don't feel they they want to open up about it so that can also mean that shows a lot about uh, our society and how the game is played in the society yeah Yeah I mean I I'll give you a, I'll give you a different kind of an example like you know if you see the, these people um, uh, not just in Bollywood in Hollywood also if you see mm. uh the moment uh the celebrities and individuals the, the moment they declare they're dating someone the fan following kind of drops <laughs> okay it, it happens Okay. And that is why most of the people date in in uh, being secretive about it. Hmm. So because they know that there are a lot of guys who 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 uh, admire these women, or a lot of girls admire these guys, blah blah blah. Hmm. Hmm. But they hide it. And a Be very wrong. big reason is that a, yeah. a very big reason behind that is that there are so many people who are so blindly blah, blah, in love with these celeb celebs and this and that that True. there you go so in the same way like i mean i don't know if somebody is speaking about vitil like or some some other person has something else right mm-hmm. that they are speaking about it and maybe they they find themselves in a different situation altogether so maybe i don't know i don't want to comment on all of that do you, do you think uh, uh, you know are there uh, you know there is this platform which is yours uh with lego india are there other platforms also like this i yeah. mean like yours yeah yeah there are uh, uh there's a there's a aru's foundation i mean uh, he uh, akash I, i know him personally he we met also in mumbai once a great guy also like you know his style of doing things is where is different my style of doing things are different but i i i like that i we coexist uh and uh um i think there are a lot more it's not just that and in fact uh, from the time i came to paris i started vitiligo france here so i'm trying to uh, do a lot more community work uh, based on that uh, but this uh, you know it's it's like again building a support system and you know um, people wanting to be out there because they they have so much in them mm-hmm. like there is something more mm. in me left in terms of of that feeling is is that how i was uh, how i always had the fear of rejection in my life okay as a kid mm-hmm. not as not as, as an adult but that there was this, this thing 
okay like you know so and then you obviously when you're like young so like hey what do you have on your face what do you have on your hand <laughs> and they start avoiding you yeah they, they just avoid you right i'm talking about i'm not kidding that i mean how about i tell you i don't want to name this person but i was i remember i was on some dating app a couple of years back and she is a psychologist from mumbai and the moment she i mean we matched and this and that and she like hey do you have vitiligo yeah blocked right so so double standards exist everywhere right so that is why i don't really so i have accepted all of this like people are going to be like this and what if i didn't go through this what if i was so shallow minded if someone else had something else yeah so so it, it it's it's like that you know like i mean people want to relate to it like what i just gave you this example of a psychologist it's, it's a perfect this is the whole mockery of the society which i keep talking about that as much as we talk about positivity and everyone is equal everyone is this and that yeah. baba <laughs> go to their personal preferences and their personal stuff you will know who who they really are and what are they made of yeah yeah so which also i understood through it lego that's another positive thing yeah you learned a lot <laughs> kafi good oh hell yes yeah. oh hell yes i i am like uh, uh, and that is why uh, sometimes i when when i speak to people or whatever interactions i have with them sometimes i'm highly misunderstood because i'm saying something and there's they are coming with their own analogy and i'm like bro chill kar ruk ja mm-hmm. and then you like so it's it's like it's it's like a um, you're not even in the same wavelength many times and this is not me saying that i'm superior and you like because i know more and this and that it's just that coexistence can can uh be hindered by different wavelengths you, you sometimes you just can't yeah. so i th- that is why i was mentioning that i choose my people very carefully and like <laughs> in my 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 zone in my environment because it's not for all yeah do you have little ago i said on a, on a text message i said yeah blocked that is the fear of rejection mm which i am speaking in a very uh, amusing way and like i'm laughing about it people are scared of that they are scared yeah people are scared of that so people are scared of going on to these dating apps people are scared of putting instagram selfies because they are going to look different people take i'll tell you another thing a lot of people with little ego post pictures in black and white mm-hmm. people with little ego a lot of them not everyone again yes. Yes, people take pictures dur se the standing for me hmm pass ki photos nahi lenge i mean again no. i mean everyone is different i'm not again i'm, no, I'm not no, i'm just no. talking general okay. stuff yes but this happens imagine i mean yeah sirf sunne mein jisko jisko chashme laga jisko chashme lage hain wohi uh conscious ho jate hain to just imagine with little Chashme to is so accepted in this world, right? Yeah. Glasses, but people when it has when it's um, uh, Instagram is uh, dating apps. Correct. Is different there. Correct. अभी भी अगर ये माना जाता है कि छूने से हो जाएगा और you know then भगवान बचाए. Boss, that is what I'm saying. So that is why I come back to the part where I like, bro, I would rather build myself up. uh and uh, uh be in an environment and move forward or probably exist or live in that but in this overall chapter of my uh, life i would say that i definitely love helping people uh and i've said this and probably i'm going to do something about it in terms of like i'm just saying that i love helping people because i was never helped right i was i love being compassionate to people because i was looking for compassion correct so somebody very dear to me mentioned that you know to understand some value of something there has to be a contrast then you can balance it mm. and I, in one of my instagram post i have mentioned it there's so much to unlearn 
there is so much to unlearn then only you will because i unlearned a lot i had to like I, in fact i would say ki meri to conditioning hi unlearning se hi hui na hmm main to us learning us conditioning mein ghusa hi nahi tha pura True. Because मैं तो लाइक अलग ही पाथ पे चल रहा था बिकॉज आई है तो मेरी तो लाइफ का ही ट्रैक ही अलग है भाई तू तो विटिलेगो वाला तू उधर जा तेरी लाइफ ट्रैक उधर जाएगी हम बाकी के झुंड में इधर है द मेन स्ट्रीम सो मैं तो उसी में था तो मेरी कंडीशनिंग तो वैसे ही नहीं है मैंने कहा बट मैं दूर से देख रहा हूँ ना हो क्या रहा था अबाउट लाइफ अबाउट थिंग्स एंड क्या दिस इज एंड Yeah, to one of my classmates here, I recently told him like, like start having this concept of it is what it is. Let's talk about uh, yourself. You love sports. I love sports. I love sports. In fact, before this call, I went for a run. Yeah. Because and and, and I was like dancing and then you know music and then I'm just it's very breezy here and. And I, when I run and I come back and I'm, and I feel when I, while I'm running and I feel like man this is so beautiful. <laughs> Just this. In one line, if you can tell me who Shivaji is. <laughs> uh, I mean, to be cocky, I can say a rock star <laughs> or a legend, <laughs> but. Uh, uh, Shivaji is a is a is a student of life. Okay. Yeah, student of life. That's my that's something I I when I'm not cocky that's what I say, which is the real thing. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But uh thank you Shivaji we have uh, come to end of our session and uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for uh, sharing all the insights. I know um we talked about a lot about Vitiligo. Um but this is how if you know we are supposed to talk i think bahut zaruri hai baat karna baat nahi karenge to logo tak ye message jayega hi nahi so it's very very important to, to talk about the subject to let people know ki you know this is what is happening this is the reality and we have to change our mindset so thank you again for coming to our show and talking about i mean you you've been uh, doing a great job putting out these kind of messages with uh, different people uh, different walks of life and and i hope uh, more and more people see these things and you know they can relate i mean mostly they do relate to it and and you mm-hmm. know and i hope they share these kind of videos to other people also so that they can show it to where the problem is yeah Thank you again. Thank you very much for standing up, for talking, for being so brave and confident. Uh, you know, you 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 said that word about hope, that one little word. So yes, you are giving hope to so many people out there. Thank you again. 